Uh, good day everyone. So uh, let let us continue the lesson one for module eight. So we are now on uh, trigonometric identities in Cartesian coordinate system. So in the previous part of uh, lesson one, we just defined the uh, trigonometric identities by using the uh, right triangle, right? So naalantay right triangle. Then we label this one as the hypotenuse. And then this one is the the uh, opposite sides given that this is our kalangkuan uh, angle alpha and then this one is um, the adjacent side okay so by this figure we uh, derive uh, the six trigonometric identities sine cosine tangent cotangent second and cosecant but today uh, we are going to have another version for our trigonometric ident identities using the uh, Cartesian coordinate system. So I hope you uh, remember the figure of the Cartesian coordinate system. So let's draw the uh, Cartesian coordinate plane. So this one, the horizontal is the x-axis and then the vertical is the y-axis. Okay, so since from our previous derivation of the trigonometric identities we are using the right triangle so here we are also uh, using the same figure but ato siya ibutang dari sa Cartesian coordinate system let's say I have a uh, koan point on the Cartesian coordinate plane so in defining a point of course natay that array and then its location is somewhere on the x-axis so that is x and then somewhere on the y-axis so this is in quadrant one okay by the way uh, the Cartesian coordinate system has uh, four parts so here is the quadrant one then this one is quadrant two this one is quadrant three and the last one is quadrant four okay so uh, the parts the four parts right here is very important or very important because uh, it also tells us the uh, the sign of the values of our x and y coordinates okay so suppose we have this point and then of course the distance of this point on the vertical side is y and then the distance of this point along x is of course we have that x okay if we're going to uh, to project this line so we can create a right triangle because this one is 90 degrees and then projecting from the origin towards our point okay so we now create a right triangle now uh, we can uh, label this one as H or C but uh, for the uh, purpose of standardization because the derivation of this trigonometric identities also uh, came from the unit circle so when we say unit circle or from a circle Okay, ang unit circle is, ang radius ato is equivalent to 1. But here, we just uh, denote our circle at with radius r. So, we put here r because if, if we're going to project a circle, so it will look like this. Banag circle ni siya. Okay. So, ang kaning r na create niya is a triangle. So, meaning class, maka-define data sa x and y using trigonometric identities. Why? Because we, we already have this um, right triangle. And if I put here an angle theta, so again, what is the type of angle angle here? Or on say classy, or on say pag dinot nato dari sa kanan theta. So theta is an angle in, sta in standard position. Why? Because ang iyahang uh, first nga ray is on the x-axis and the terminal side guy somewhere between uh, 0 to 90 degrees so this is an angle in standard position now if we're going to extract this um, this right triangle so it would look like this okay so this is our angle theta and then of course this is the uh, the magnitude of our y and then this one is the magnitude of our x-axis okay so atong point kani. And this is the radius of the circle when we project this uh, circle now uh, let's derive this okay by using this figure let's derive the six trigonometric identities okay let's start with the cosine so number one 
cosine. So cosine from the right triangle, cos that is defined as the adjacent side, which is x, all over the hypotenuse. So our hypotenuse here is r, so therefore that is x all over r. How about the second one for sine? So sine is defined as the ratio of the uh, opposite side, which is y, all over the hypotenuse, which is r. So that is y all over r. For number 3, we have tangent. Tangent is just the ratio of the opposite side, which is y, because y is opposite to our angle theta, all over x adjacent, which is x. So that is y all over x. And then the fourth one is the uh, second. So second is just the inverse of what? Cosine. So 1 over cosine. Or in terms of our uh, variables here in, in the right triangle, so that is equal to r all over x. Okay? Opposite uh, reciprocal naman siya sa kaning uh, ratio sa atong cosine. And then for number 5, we have cosecant. That is the inverse of our sine. And in terms of the parameters, r, y, and x, that is r all over x. And the last one, 6, uh, we have cotangent, cot, which is equal to the inverse of our tangent. Okay, so that is equal to um, x all over y. Okay, so I forgot to put the cotangent. The angles here, so tangent theta, second theta, and uh, cosecant theta, and cotangent theta. Okay? So don't forget to write the angle theta. So here, class, we can also uh, derive uh, from a kanang kwan, unit circle basis. So when we say unit circle, unit circle, the value of our hypotenuse, which is our radius r, is equal to 1. So therefore, uh, the values of our six trigonometric identities uh, will be changed. So for cosine, that is just cosine uh, theta for unit circle is just x. And then sine of theta is just equal to y. And then the tangent of theta remains the same, y all over x. And then for the second, that is second theta is just equal to 1 all over x and then the cosecant csc theta is just equal to 1 over y and then the cotangent still remains the same that is x all over y so here we can say that in a unit circle our x is just the cosine of the angle and then the value of our y is just the sine of angle and still the tangent is just the y over x so if you already have knowledge in uh, kanang linear equation, di ba? Ang represent ang y over x, this represents the slope. So in other words, ang ating tangent is just the slope of the line, of this line from the origin towards our point x and y. So yung ani pag kanang represent sa atong trigonometric identities in terms of Cartesian coordinate system. So again, ang atong cos in a unit circle is just equal to our x, our sine in a unit circle, is equal to our y. So again, whatever the derivation is, ang ato yun aning fundamental uh, principle nga kailangan nga remember is the right triangle. Okay? Because the, all the trigonometric identities uh, were derived from the right triangle. Okay? So take note of the uh, conditions put or restrictions atong cosine. So again, cosine is from 0 to um from 0 to 1. So, kung malapas na siya og 1, now, manal na nga to ang value sa, sa ato ang cosine theta or our theta itself. Okay, so let's have an example on how to solve uh, trigonometric identities applied in the uh, Cartesian coordinate system. So, here, uh, the problem states that we are going to calculate the values of the six trigonometric functions for angle theta located in a standard position. So, again, don't forget this statement standard position where the terminal side passes to the point 2 5 okay so don't forget uh, to remember the parts of our angle okay so di ba ang atong angle kanan siya initial side 
Hogea Terminal side. So since from the statement giingon nga this is an angle in standard position. So ang ihang first ray kay nag lie sa x axis and then ihang terminal side daw kay man, passes through a point 25. So ah uh, importante pod nga ato ni i flattening coordinate nga 25. So that is 2 units on the x axis. So somewhere here and then 5 units on the y. So dire lang. Okay? So this is 2 5. So the project so mura siya. This is now our um kana angle theta. Okay? So in yun dire calculate the, the values of the six trigon trigonometric functions of this location kaning 2 5 okay a coordinate so we can uh, project some uh, vertical line here and then horizontal so in this projection class naka create na puta og right triangle which is atong akong gipakita ninyo from the previous section nga maka derive ta sa six trigonometric identities so kani siyang vertical line sa atong right triangle ang measurement ani is just our, our y so this is y which is equal to 5 k okay? diba sa atong coordinate system 5 ang value sa y, whereas for x, that is 2, okay? So, this one is our r. So, we don't have r. So, ato i-calculate ang r. So, we're going to solve for r. So, again, ang ato ang required ani. So, required 6 uh, trigonometric identities. Okay, so one of its solution is to solve for R. Okay, so solution. So in solving for R, since this is a right triangle, so we are going to use the Pythagorean theorem. So from the triangle, ito na draw balik, this is theta, this is 5, this is 2, and this is R. So from the Pythagorean theorem, so that is the square of the hypotenuse, R squared is equal to the sum of the squares of the two sides. That is 5 squared plus 2 squared. So, summing up this, this is 25 plus 4. So, kung ima na siya i-add, so that is 29. Therefore, ang atong r, r value is just equal to square root of 29. So, just take the positive because uh, we don't have a negative value for our radius. That is positive since parameter na siya sa mga parameters sa circle. That is square root of 29 units. Okay? So, muna ang value sa ato ang radius. Kay, pwede mo na to take square root both sides. Mandiri. So, yan na. Okay? So, ang sa isunod nga bukaton. So, since we already have R, then we can now, um, we can now solve the six trigonometric identities. So, let's start with the cosine. So, for the first, we have cosine of theta is just equal to sum to siya. Cosine theta is just equal to uh, x all over r, right? So, our x here is 2. Our r is square root of 29. So, that is 2 square root of 29. You can also rationalize this. So, this will equal to uh, 2 square root of 29 all over 29. Pwede na po. The next, number 2, that is sine of theta. Sine of theta is y all over r. So that is 5 over square root of 29. So, that is equal to 5 square root of 29 all over 29. So, again, don't forget to rationalize. Ang sa tayo rationalize In rationalizing, you just multiply this fraction by square root of 29 all over square root of 29. Number 3, we have tangent of theta equal to uh, y, that is 5, all over x, that is 2. So, tangent theta is just 5 halves. Now, ang ikaupat we have the second of theta which is the inverse of our cosine that is square root of 29 all over 2 kay inverse man ani and then for the fifth one we have cosecant of theta which is the inverse of our sine that is square root of 29 all over 5 and then for the last one we have the cotangent of theta equal to the reciprocal Dito siya inverse. Sorry sa kung term yung gamit ganiha. Uh, Kanda eh. Reciprocal. So, cotangent theta is just the reciprocal of our tangent theta. So, therefore, our cotangent is 2 over 5 which is x over y. Okay.
Okay. So, um, to sa buhaton. Okay, so let's continue. So, uh, this is, uh, these are our koan, final answer. So, cosine, sine, tangent, second, cosecant, and cotangent of kanang theta. So, let's proceed to the next example. So, here, you are going to calculate the values of the six trigonometric functions for angle theta located in a standard position. So, again, this is in standard position where the terminal side passes to the point negative 4 and negative 7. Okay, so don't forget to follow the procedure. So, this is my procedure. You can use this. Okay, may it's systematic. So, uh, the first thing that we that we should do is we are going to uh, draw the figure and write the data. So, we have here a Cartesian coordinate plane. So, X and Y. And then, we're going to locate the point. So, that is negative 4, negative 7. So, since the both uh, the x and y coordinates are negative so that is in quadrant 3 so nasa dipid dali kaya quadrant 3 all the coordinates are negative so negative 4 so somewhere here negative 4 negative 7 so somewhere here dali this one is negative 4 and negative 7 so yung project project nasa okay this is in standard uh, position di ba yung siya don't forget that is in standard position so, dire na magsugod iyang initial side, mo terminate siya dire. Okay? So, muna siya ang imuhang angle na theta. Okay, this angle theta. And as you notice, um, sir, unlike dito sa ato previous nga example is, ang angle is an acute. Okay to acute because of course, from a right triangle, uh, the remaining two angles are acute gila siya. And then here, we have an obtuse angle, but don't worry, we can still uh, project a right triangle here. So, pwede mo ta magsugod ani nga line kanya sa x-axis. So, I can project this one. So, this is my angle now, my new angle. I will label this. So, kanya siya. I will label this angle as angle uh, alpha. Okay, so here, makasugod na po ko og y, which is equal to 7, right? And then I can also have x here. Okay, so therefore, if your angle is uh, kanang koan, uh, obtuse, so more than 90 degrees, then magamit na to ang kitawag na reference angle. Reference angle. So when we say refer uh, reference angle, mono siya ang uh, smallest angle, smallest angle nga ang iyahang initial kanang position is located along the x axis okay mona siya ang definition sa reference angle so let's say i have an angle in standard position then mi rotate siya uh, to revolutions and then ni terminate siya ari so mona siya ay final nga or the terminal side and then ang reference angle ani is kanira siya gikan aning horizontal padong sa diri so therefore mora ni ang atong ang kuan so na create gyapo ta og right triangle okay so again, ang reference angle itong gamito ni ini since this is not an acute angle anymore. Kay when we plot the uh, the point and then gingon po niya in standard position so therefore naka obtuse siya. Okay? So in solving the six trigonometric functions uh ayo gamita ang theta because ang ato na generate diri nga right triangle is this na kanina siya. Ito na drawing nagana na siya. This is now our new angle alpha and then this one measures negative 7 units since this is our y and then this one measures negative 4 units because this is our x so in sound pag solves ato ang alpha since we all know that from the x axis towards the terminal side the angle is kan theta okay the angle is kan theta and now since ang ato dili is alpha man so unsay value sa ato kan alpha alpha is just so the value of alpha alpha is just theta minus 180 okay, ba theta minus 180 okay so since ang gipangita ra man ang requirements ra man so required 
is solved for all trigonometric identities. Okay. So, pasalamat ha, tungod kay kanang uh, wala gi-required nga isolve po ang angle theta. Okay? So, let's start with the first one. So, you you can have uh, kanang koan, cosine of theta. Okay? So, you can have cosine of theta. So, that is cosine of kanang koan, theta is equal to um, on sa man ang koan, on sa man ang iyaha uh, on sa man ang ratio sa tong cosine theta that is just uh, the adjacent which is x so that is um, negative 4 all over r okay so na pala tayo pangitaon dili pala tayo mo jump sa ato ang kanang mga trigonometric identities because we are lacking with the value of our radius or the hypotenuse so let's solve first the uh, radius r okay so na erase so we're going to solve for the the radius so solve for r so from this triangle this is r so that is r squared is equals to negative 4 squared plus negative 7 squared so taking the square root of both sides that is square root of how to simplify that is 4 squared plus 7 squared the answer is 65 square root of 65 so just take the positive the principal root okay okay kung up inyong para simplify actually naka decimal point na so di na natin i-simplify because we retain the exact value for radius so since nakakuha naman tag value sa radius okay so nakakuha naman tag value sa okay so let's continue so since we already have a value for our radius then we can now solve for the uh, trigonometric identities the six trigonometric identities okay so that is for cosine so let's start with the cosine cosine of theta is equal to uh, x our x here is negative 4 all over the radius that is square root of 65 so kaya muna siya ikuan rationalize that is equivalent to negative 4 square root of 65 all over 65 how about for the second one that is sine of theta that is equal to y negative 7 all over square root of 65 which is equal also to square root of 7 square root of uh, 7 square root of 65 negative divided by 65 next for our tangent so that is tangent of theta is equal to uh, y over x so our y is negative 7 all over x negative 4 so the answer is positive negative uh, 7 over 4 then the fourth one is a uh, second of theta that is just the reciprocal of our cosine that is square root of 65 all over negative 4 then the fifth one is cosecant of theta is equal to the reciprocal of sine theta that is square root of 65 all over negative 7 and then the last one is cotangent of theta which is the reciprocal of our tangent that is negative 4 all over negative 7 that is just 4 all over 7 so as you've noticed sir asa mo na yung siga may taning alpha pod okay now kung imo mo guni i-plug in guni cosine of theta is equals to negative 4 square root of 65 all over 65 and then taking the koan arc tangent so taking the arc tangent or arc cosine the i mean so sa akong quadratic calculator so our cosine of kanang kuan negative 4 all over square root of 65 the answer is so wait lang answer niya our cosine uh, negative 4 all over square root of 65 so the result is uh, 119.74 119.74 So sir based atong na kwandiri based atong na generate ring equation for the reference angle in ta sir ang theta expected to be um to be greater than 180 Actually ang nabasa sa ato ang calculator di ba ako nakuha by using cosine na by using the 
the first trigonometric function cosine theta is equal to negative 4 all over square root of 65 and by using the calculator the theta the value of theta nga ako nakuha is 119.74 degrees so the ba sir sa atong drawing is that is more than 180 whereas ang nakuha na ako is this one is less than 180 so unsa may girid di ay sa ato ang one ani unsa may girid sa ato ang kanang calculator actually kung ato siya draw balik di ba ang location nato is kanis siya okay kani di ba kani man atong drawing okay so sa calculator mo good sa calculator is uh, iyang gi iyang gi considered ang kwan ang positive ra nga kwan angle di ba so ang iyan na ready ay di ba kapasti ba niya actually iyan na ready kaya kani siya from here to here from here to here mo niya siya 119.74 okay 119.74 pero kung ato yun i-ikuan i-stricto kung ato yun i-stricto actually ang kanang 119.74 mong good is nana siya somewhere here since cosine pa lang man good ni di ba ang cosine is all about x lang di ba cosine is related to x so therefore if this is kuan if this is positive if this is positive so somewhere here di ba di ba diri angle in standard position na nakuha sa atong calculator is kani siyang uh, angle kani theta okay Onya sa atong nakuha ang value sa cosine negative siya of course magli siya tungod kay ang value sa x sa left side is kanang negative so muna yun ako ang 119.74 but kung mag check ta using sine diba sine theta is equal sa negative 7 all over square root of 65 ang makuha na to by using cal the calculator that is arc sine square root of 7 all over uh, 7 all over square root of 65 ang iyang makuha ang answer is negative 60 negative 60.25 negative 60.25 so asa naman po na asa naman po na si sine so this is for cosine cosine theta and then for sine negative 60 so di ba negative kaya ang rotation nya is kanang clockwise so somewhere here muna siyang negative 60 Okay, sir, nga nung wala man na ego ang atong doing a part. Actually, kung kung imong i-mirror ganun siya, okay, kung imong siya i-mirror, i-mirror na pa doon ari, actually, ang makuha ni mga cosine kay, the same ra, ba? Ang kanin nga siya nga point, o ganun siya nga point, ang makuha ni mga cosine is the same. Why? Because the same ra nga x. Diba, ang cosine is all about x. Diba? So, same ra ba ang x value diri. And then also for sine here on say by on sa ang kaninga point ko is ato siya in mirror along this y axis during a part so na pagay projection dire actually ang value sa imong sine ani class diba ang sine is y so mo ani siya diba kani siya nga nga kuan kani so meaning kaning both points na siya same nga value sa y so therefore ko imo na siya ikuan Okay, muna siya i-sign. Let's say, magkang kag-sign. Negative 60 og. Kani siya. Mubasa ka gikan ari pa dong ari. So, that is... Pila man. Actually, kuha na siya. Basa ka, that is uh, 180. 180 minus 60. Okay? Hmm... Oh, 180 minus 60, or that is uh, 180 minus kanang kuan. 180 minus 119, 119.74 then uh, plus kuan. Plus 180. So, that is 240.26. Kanisiya is kanisiya. 240.26 approximately siya 
Okay? So, kaya mo ni plug in, kaning sine negative 60 o sine 240.26. Actually, same rin siya result. Okay, ato i-verify ha. So, that is sine negative 60 equal siya sa negative um, squared of uh, squared of 3 over 2. Actually, kung ano siya? Uh, point something yun siya. So, ato na siya point something. Retain na lang. That is arc sine of negative 7 all over square of 65 ato makuha is negative 60.26 negative 60.26 ok so this one is negative 60.26 negative 60.26 ok so ato siya i-plug in sine of negative 60.26 ang result niya is negative 0.87 approximately approximately negative 0.87 now kung atong gamitin si sine 240.26 so sine 240.26 ang result niya is negative gihapon that is negative uh, 0.87 87 approximately now balik ta sa atong reference angle kaya nag discuss beta reference angle kaning alpha diba remember our alpha here alpha is just equal to theta all over 180 degrees right ang atong theta ani is mi follow ta sa sign kani 240.26 okay 240.26 so that is 240.26 degrees minus 180 degrees so the answer here is to 40.26 minus 180. That is 60.26. Oh, 60.26. That is 60.26. So at kung monet to igamit pag kuha sa cosine. Okay, pag kuha sa cosine, same rigid gihapon kay, di ba? Ato man gigamit ang sine. Kaya to gigamit ang sine. Di ba sa sine? Bisa pag negative 60 o 240, same ra ilang values. Why? Because of course, same ra man ang y dere. Diba? Sa kanilang figure, ato give mirror. Bisa na siya sa opposite side. Same pag yapan ang value sa ilahang y. So, ayaw mo kabalaka kung, kung sa inyo hang koan, sa inyo hang calculator, kaya lahi yung answer ng angle. Actually, i-follow lang ang iyahang direction. O ang iyahang kanang koan, iyahang condition. So, para safe mo, be sure to kanang kanjud. Be sure to refer your figure kung asay location sa atong point. So since diri mata sa quadrant 3, so walay walay kuan, walay possibility nga ang ato ang sign kay summer on quadrant 4. Quadrant 3 gina siya. Okay? So let's proceed to the next sample. Sample number 3. So here it states that if the cosine line of the angle theta is equal to negative 3 over 5 and the terminal side of our angle theta lies in quadrant 3, find the value of our sine theta. So again, figure and data. Figure and data. So we are going to draw again the Cartesian coordinate plane. So this is x-axis and this is y-axis. So assuming uh, Ang, this is an angle in standard position so nag start siya from the x-axis and the terminal side lies in somewhere in quadrant 3 somewhere here okay, quadrant 3 and then ito yung butang diri so kanisya is our uh, theta okay then wala mong pagiging yung diri ah, wala pagiging yung diri nga kanang koan wala pagiging yung diri nga ang direction sa itong angle is uh, counterclockwise bar clockwise so assume nang tanga this is a uh, counterclockwise so a positive angle lang siya so muna nag start ko diri ni rotate ko counterclockwise pa sa terminal side on the quadrant 3 nga part so required here we are required so natay data nga cosine of the angle theta is negative 3 over 5 now ato po diri ma verify from the given nga Ang location gid sa ato ang koan sa atong point is on quadrant 3. Why? Kaya ang cosine theta represents the x value 
And then here, this is negative. So therefore, nasya sa left side. The required here is to solve for the value of our sine of theta. Solution. Solution. Actually, di ba, maka-generate na po ta og right triangle ni ini, di ba? So, maka-generate na po ta right triangle ni ini. When this is our y, this is our x, and this is our r. Di ba, from the given, from the given, uh, we have cosine theta daw is equals to negative 3 all over 5. Di ba, from the right triangle, ang saragot to cosine, in terms of the radius, the x and the y, that is x all over r. So therefore, you can let the numerator as the x value and the denominator as the r value. Diba? Okay, equal. Ano na siya? So let r is equals to, actually, dili ka pwede carry sa negative for r. Why? Because the radius is, of course, the absolute value. Okay? Wala yung negative ng radius because that is i kwan a measurement of the radius of the circle. So, always positive na siya. So, therefore, take the positive for the radius. Radius is 5 units. Where in the x, more na imo negative. Tungod kay vector maning x, di ba? Ang x na to is, can be on the left side or on the right side. So, to take the negative for the x value. Okay, so na tay x, na po r. And then for sine, di ba? Naman ta sa sine. Atong sine theta is equal to Diba? That is the y value all over the r. Now, not a given r, but we don't have y. So, we're going to solve for y. Para maka solve bata sa final answer. So, solve for y. Since this is a right triangle, diba? Nam tay relationship using Pythagorean theorem. So, Pythagorean theorem. Not tay relationship nga nag exist uh, among these three uh, sides. So, that is r squared is equals to uh, x squared plus y squared, right? And then, since naman tayo r of x, therefore makala si y. So that is y is equal to the square root of, that is r squared, minus na y, because kita transpose mo ng x squared yung sa pika side. So minus x squared, then squared both sides. That is y is equal to the square root of r squared, that is 25, minus x squared, negative 3 squared, that is positive 9 na. Okay, so answer ni square root of, ilam ni siya. This one is 16. Now, y is equal to positive or negative 4, right? So, since kuan man, since ang ato ang y is a vector quantity, di ba naman siya magnitude of direction? So, unsa itong pili yun, is it the positive 4 or negative 4? In this case, since ang atong location sa atong point is in quadrant 3, we expect nga ang ang sign sa atong y is negative. So, therefore, take so take the negative. So, that is negative 4. Muna na itong y value, negative 4. Tungod kay nam siya sa quadrant 3. So, therefore, na naman tayo y value, r value, so therefore, i-substitute siya. So, sine theta is indeed equal to negative 4 all over 5. Muna na itong answer. Okay? Iga na ra. So, next, Let's proceed to the kwan, kanang quadrantal angles. Okay, quadrantal angles ta. So this, uh, this is in an additional uh, information regarding the quad, uh, trigonometric functions in Cartesian coordinate system. So unsa ni mga quadrantal angles? Actually, mo siya yung mga angles nga naglay on the x-axis and the y-axis. Okay. So, quadrantal angles, nag-start ni siya sa 0 degree because, di ba, ang angle na nag sa x-axis is 0 degree. Now, moving to 90 degrees or moving to the y-axis, the measurement here of the angle is 90 degrees. Moving on the opposite side of the x-axis, the angle measurement here is 180 degrees. Moving on the opposite side or opposite direction of our y-axis, that is 270 degrees. And finally, back to the initial position, that is 360 degrees. Okay. Ato ikondri ang values for all the trigonometric functions. Okay. So, here, what is our sine 0 degrees? Sine 0 degrees. Okay. 
since si sine is the ratio of y all over r okay tungod kay wala man tay di ba wala ba tay y diri tungod kay wala siya naka incline wala man siya naka ana di ba kun naka ana pa lang siya na tay value sa y since kan siya kay pa higda man gyud meaning na ara tay value sa ato ang x we don't have value for our y so therefore that is uh, y over r so y is 0 so 0 divided by r that is 0 so th therefore sine of 0 degrees is 0 the same true with sine of 360 degrees that is 0 so therefore para ma summarize na to ha para ato ma summarize for the x axis so for 0 and 360 degrees so our sine here is 0 how about our cosine? Cosine, so assuming a uh, unit circle ni siya, unit circle ni siya, ito assume nga uh, unit circle ni, wherein we have r equals to 1, right? So r is equals to 1. Ang cosine na to, at 0 degrees or 360, since pa naman siya, so therefore, that is just equal to the radius, because cosine is x over r, diba? x over r. Since ang x nato today is pa anaman, so that is r. That is r all over r. Or, that is equal to 1. So, kung yung kitag cosine 0 degrees or 360, 1 ang answer. How about tangent? Tangent here is, diba? That is y all over x. Or, masa may another equivalent sa tangent? So, diba? At ikaw na, ang tangent of theta is equal to y all over x. Now, kung ako na siya, multiply yan ang numerator of 1 over r, same po sa denominator, 1 over r. So, ngayon mo na yung numerator of y over r all over x all over r. Now, di ba, nakafamiliar mo sa ratio ni y over r? Kaling y over r sa numerator, this is just the same with the sign of theta, right? And the x over r just equivalent with our cosine of theta. So therefore, I express the nato ang atong tangent of theta in terms of sine theta all over cosine of theta. So here, ang samay atong tangent dere, that is sine theta is zero over cosine one, that is zero. So mo na siya sa kanang ko an sa x-axis. Let's move to sine. Sin 90. So, sa remaining ng mga trigonometric identities, kamo na lang bahala. Actually, ma-derive niya siya out from this tree. For 90, okay, since pa-vertical naman po na nga ito ang terminal side, what tay? X. We only have Y. So, therefore, si sin na po diri maoy 1. Si cosine na po diri maoy 0. Y. Tungod kay wala may X value diri. Kaya nakalay man siya along Y axis. Now, for tangent, tangent is Diba? Y or sine all over cosine that is 1 over 0. Therefore, at 90 degrees, the ang tangent is infinite. Okay? Infinity. Wala si Y fix nga value. So, infinity. Now, proceed to sa 180 degrees. Ang sine nato diri, since na pahigda na po siya horizontally, wala po tayo sine. So, we have 0. Now, for our cosine. So, take note, it's not 1 because na nata sa left side. So, that is our x now is negative here. So, x is equal to r. That is negative r over r. The answer is negative 1. So, negative 1 na ang sa 180 degrees. For our tangent, that is the ratio of sine over cosine. So, 0 divided by negative 1. The answer is 0. Okay? And then, you can derive the three remaining trigonometric identities. Here, for 270, ang sine since along y-axis man siya. So, di na ma-zero si sine. Mahimo na siya og negative 1. Okay, negative siya tungod kay below naman siya. For our cosine, since wa tay x diri kay naka uh, vertex uh, ko siya vertically downward, so we have 0. For our tangent, that is the ratio of the sine over cosine negative 1 over 0 that is equal to negative infinity. Okay? So wala tay exact nga value infinite infinite gyud po and then go back Pabalik na sa, uh, kung pabalik na sa 360, same lang gihapon. Okay, so muna siya mga quadrantal angles. Angles nga may, uh, may coincide sa ato ang x and y axis. Okay, so take note, muna siya mga 
common nga mga kwan nga atong masugatan. So kung lagay manguan nagay sa problem nga what is the value of sine 90? So automatic quadrantal angles na siya equal to 1. Okay? So don't forget again to uh, to kwan to remember the uh, to remember the signs. Okay? Kung sa left gali sa x axis that is negative. Kung downward gali sa y axis that is negative also. Okay? So, since sumana man ta, so proceed ta sa law of signs. Unsa man law of signs class? Okay? Kaning law of signs, ma-apply ni siya kung mag-solve ta og gitawag nga oblique triangles. Oblique triangles. Di ba sa previous na nga discussion, ah, nag-solve ta mga real life applications using kuan? Using right triangle. How about for oblique triangles? Because in reality, not all, not all figures or kanang areas, aya shape is right triangle. Okay, of course, nagin na mga oblique triangles. Okay, so ang sana to pag solve sa mga sides anang oblique triangles and including the angles. So nata yung mga uh, another formula. So the first one is the law of sines. So the law of sines states that. Uh, if you have a given figure, so not a figure array. So we have here an oblique triangle. Oblique triangle. Let's say uh, I label this one as side A, side B, and side C. So the angle opposite to side A, I denote this as alpha. The angle opposite to B, I denote here beta. The angle C, I denote here as gamma. Okay? So again, don't forget the for triangle. So this is just a review. So for triangle, okay, gamit po ni sa pag-solve po ng law of uh, law of sines ng problem. For triangle, that is gamma plus beta plus alpha equals 180 degrees. Meaning the sum of all the angles for a triangle results to 180 degrees. Now for the law of sines, for the law of sines. Yang gikuan nga ang koan ang ratio sa sa angle okay or the ratio of the side and the sine of its uh, equivalent angle are the, are the same okay for all sides and angles okay ang ratio sa sa side o gang iyang kanang corresponding angle are equal to uh, the remaining two sides and its equivalent angles. Okay? In symbol, so since yung ang ratio daw sa side, so let's say, we, let's start for A. A, the ratio of the side A and its corresponding angle, ang sama yung corresponding angle, that is alpha. Yat bang. That is sine alpha is just equal to the ratio po sa remaining mga sides and angles. So that is for B all over sine pod ni beta which is equal to C all over sine of gamma. So, mara siya itong law of sines. Actually, kanang ko andra uh, kanang ato ral siyang ma kung saan, ato siya may numduman. Actually, you can also rewrite this since this is ratio pwede na pwede mabali. So, we have here sine alpha all over the side is equal to uh, kanang sine beta all over the side B is equal to actually kanid icon ni siya ato ni erase this is not alpha this is A then the last one is sine gamma all over the side C. So, pwede na siya ma kwan interchange since ratio ng po siya. So, all these three ratios are equivalent. Okay? Muna siya ang law of sense. Don't, for, don't forget this formula. Now, kanin siya uh, ang kanin ato ang laws let's say uh, by comparing the two ratios we have for A and B that is A sine alpha is equals to uh, B sine uh, beta. Actually, Kung usaray given nga side but naatay doha ka angles then 
we can solve the other side okay and also the other remaining sides because if we already have two informations for our, for our angle then we can solve the third one by using this Keynesian equation right here that the sum of the three angles is equal to 180 degrees for triangle diba okay so, para inyo ni masabtan, then let's have some applications. So, for sample problem number one, we have here a figure. So, ato itatawag, this is figure and data. Okay, for some, uh, sample problem number one, um, ato po ni i-denote po ang ihang type of triangle by looking at the given. Okay, so yung mga givens niya. Given here is we have an angle alpha, that is angle, and then followed by another angle, which is gamma, for side C, so that is angle again, and then the third one is the side A, that is AAS. So this is an angle, angle, side nga condition. Okay, kung na kay angle-angle side nga condition, then makasolve ka sa remaining nga mga unknowns nga sa ato ang right triangle. So, here, ang atong required ni ini, requirements is we're going to solve for the side B, the side C, and the angle beta. Okay? So, solution. Since naman tayo given nga doha ka angles, then by the definition of a triangle, di ba the sum of the three angles is equal to 180 so we can now solve for beta so solve for kan lang kwan beta so diba kay ba man ta nga alpha plus beta plus gamma is equals to 180 this is for triangle so that is beta it transpose ang al gamma o ang alpha on the other side that is minus alpha minus gamma then kan lang kwan substituting the values that is 180 degrees minus alpha is 115 and obtuse angle minus gamma 32 degrees so the answer is 180 minus 115 minus 32 that is 33 degrees so beta is 33 degrees so na natay answer for beta then next we are going to solve for the side B and side C okay so let's start by solving uh, side B. Solve for side B. Now, using the law of cosines, that is, at is what's B. So, B all over sine beta is equals to, actually, you can have A over sine alpha or C over sine uh, alpha. But, kung ato it try siya, C all over sine gamma. Now, dito po din makasolve ni B. Why? Because C is still unknown. So, therefore, ang atong gamitin yun niya ni is si A. Since si A raman ang given so far for the sides. That is A all over sine alpha. So, cross multiply, that is A sine beta is equals to B sine alpha. Divide both sides by sine alpha. So, B now is equals to a multiplied by the sine of beta all over the sine of alpha. Then substituting the values for A that is 9 meters, so 9 meters multiplied by the sine of 33 degrees all over the sine of 115 degrees. Now simplify 9 times the sine of 33 all over the sine of 115 so the answer here is 5.41 that's equal to 5.41 meters muna siya answer approximately rin siya okay sa ato ang side B now next is the last one the last side that is we're going to solve for side C so, unahon sa what? C over sine gamma is equals to, you can have B, B over sine beta since nasold mo to si B, but ako, uh, ako lang pili yun si A gihapon. So, A all over sine alpha. Anyway, same lang gihapon yung makuha niya na. 
So, cross multiply, we have C sine alpha equals A sine gamma. Divide both sides by sine alpha. So, we have C is equals to A multiplied by sine gamma all over sine alpha. Substituting the values, that is 9 meters multiplied by sine of alpha is uh, 115 degrees all over uh, actually that is sine gamma but I sorry this is sine gamma sine gamma is 32 gamma is 32 degrees all over sine alpha 115 degrees now simplifying C is 9 meters times sine 32 all over sine 115 the answer is 5.26 so approximately 5.26 meters so therefore nakuha na to ang tulo ka mga gipangita ang 3 ka mga requirements so don't forget to kanang uh, don't forget the uh, the law of sines nga formula let's proceed to sample problem number 2 okay so here solve for the length a b and the angle gamma of the triangle below so here not a given nga angle okay siya ang sunod nga given tapad niya is ang side that is side and then the last one is the angle angle side angle now if you have this condition for your triangle angle side angle so, makuha, uh, ma, pagkuha sa remaining ng mga lengths and, uh, and the uh, remaining uh, angle, magagamit gamit sa law of sines. So, di ba, ang sato ka ng previous nga kuhaan, ang sato yung condition sa previous, di ba, that is angle-angle side, di ba? Sa previous is angle-angle side. So, therefore, kung nakay condition nga angle-angle side, okay, angle-angle side, then, pwede ka makagamit og law of sines if that is angle side angle then makakuha gyud pong ka og ah, makagamit gyud pong ka sa law of sines so this is our figure and data so figure and data now on side requirements so the requirements for this problem is we have uh, the side a side b and the angle gamma okay so solution now from the koan from the rules of a triangle so the sum of all the angles is 180 that is alpha plus beta plus gamma is equal to 180 degrees since uh, unknown man si gamma mo po natong ipangita so therefore gamma is equal to 180 degrees minus so gi transpose ng beta o gang alpha that is minus alpha minus beta so that is 180 degrees minus alpha is 80 minus beta of 40 that is equal to our gamma is 60 degrees okay na natin nakakuha the next requirement we're going to solve for a okay we're going to solve for a so solve for the one side now, using the law of sines, that is A all over sine alpha is equals to, actually you can pick the side that has, uh, that is included in the given. Okay, kung mo pili kag B, what may given si B, so therefore di kakuha. Since si C na may given, so you can choose C. So that is C all over sine gamma. Since si gamma nakato na nakuha, so we're good to go. So our A here is therefore equal to, uh, C multiplied by sine alpha all over sine gamma. Then substituting the values, C is uh, 15 feet multiplied by sine alpha is 80 all over sine gamma is 60 degrees. Simplifying, we have 15 multiplied by sine 80 all over sine 60 the answer is 17.06 so approximately let me see yeah approximately 
uh, 06 uh, fit kani siya naka fit ni siya okay so money ang answer sa atong side A now for side for side B so same lang yapon gamit yapon ta sa uh, law of sine so that is B all over sine kana beta is equals to ang imo gid equate ani is katong nanay given so you can have A since nakuha naman po si A or you can have C so ako ha si C lang so that is C all over sine gamma therefore ang B na to is equals to uh, C multiplied by sine beta all over sine gamma Subjecting the values that is uh, 15 feet multiplied by the sine of beta beta is 40 degrees all over sine gamma that is sine 60 degrees so the answer is approximately so simplifying we have 15 multiplied by the sine of 40 all over the sine of 60 so the answer is approximately 11.13 approximately 11.13 feet this is for side B therefore mo na siya at ang mga answers so again if natay condition nga kanang koan natay condition nga kanang angle angle side and kanang angle side angle then makagamit ta sa law of sines now na ay ika third nga parts sa ato ang law of signs for ambiguous case. So, ang summary siya, class ang ambiguous case. Actually, when you say ambiguous case, na i ka possible ng mga answers or possible solutions for our problem. Now, sa law of cosines mga good, kaning ambiguous case, magawas na siya if we have a condition of a triangle that is side, side, and the angle. So, mga siya, for SSA condition, Say both pa sa both aning SSA condition. Now, before solving this problem, uh, I will just kanang show to you kung sa mga conditions aning SSA. So, let's draw first an oblique triangle. Let's say uh, I have here uh, side uh, B. We have her side A. So, can I see ya? Uh, this is alpha, right? And of course, this is beta. And this is C, and this is gamma. Okay? This is gamma. Okay. Um, Mona siya ang ato ang kwan. Mona siya ato ang kanang ato ang ato ang giving angle. Okay? So, atong bata ni Ana. Okay, so let's continue. So, diri A, ah, since ang giswat nga condition is the side side angle nga condition, so ato i choose nga atong side diri is kaning B, side B and side A, and then our angle here nga ang giswat sa condition is the angle alpha. So, side B, side A, and kanang alpha okay so if we have an ssa condition so this is an ambiguous case why because uh ang first nga condition okay first nga condition now if okay at the first nga condition wait la okay so uh let's discuss continue ta ha so let's discuss the first condition. So if ang atong angle na alpha, so if alpha uh, is kanangkuan is an acute or is an obtuse day, is an obtuse angle, so obtuse obtuse angle. Okay. So if our alpha is an obtuse angle. So, ang kanang drawing na to is kanisiyam. It would look like this. Nya siya, nya Okay? 
or ato na straightening kaning remaining side C or the unknown okay ato na siya straight line anyways of just mangyabon na generate ani okay mana siya ha our alpha is this alpha so alpha is now an obtuse angle and of course this is our kanang kwan beta okay this is our beta now if okay if kanang kuan if bit if kan siya sorry this is side b di na siya beta side b na siya now if atong side a since wala pong nagdrawing nga if atong side a is very small compared to our side b so that is if a is less than b then naabatay triangle nga generate wala so no triangle why nga naman of course since more ni ang orientation kay inyo naman tanga if alpha is an obtuse angle more ni ang orientation with respect to the side c tungod kay mga given sa man kay si beta o uh, si side b o si, si side a ha so si b na atay condition nga ni nga mas dako pa daw si b kaysa ni a so therefore si a may ana ra ana ana ra more gani possible nga result ni a mag ana ra gani siya mag ana so kung mas mas gamay ang sukod ni A kaysa ni B so di siya ka extend di siya ka abot sa kaning horizontal nga C so paano na siya summer here so therefore in that case walay triangle nga ma-generate however however kung ato na po lain nun ato siya lain nun now if A is greater than B na atay saman kung dako pa si A so dako si A so may extend siya nga to this is now our A so therefore na atay one triangle nga ma generate so mo na siya class mo ginay bantayan ninyo now that is for the case if alpha is an obtuse angle so kung obtuse angle siya then kung si ang uh, side A is very small compared to side B as you can see in the figure wala ay triangle nga magenerate because until ara ra siya magkotob however kung mas dako siya sa atong side B ang atong A then natay usa ka triangle nga magenerate now for the uh, second condition ang second condition ang state nga if atong angle nga alpha is an acute angle acute angle meaning angle less than 90 degrees kung sa'yo may tabo so if that is an acute angle ang possible na itong illustration for our triangle oblique triangle is this this is our side B and then pa acute man so yan na siya assuming horizontal si C so this is now our alpha ok now diri a same lagi apun if si A daw is kanang less than B okay if si A is less than B ang saya may tabo na by triangle or wala so kung ako na project kan siya ako na project pa dongad do okay sorry ito siya erase so ang side A at a project ha if we're going to project side A on this side C so si side C ha wala siya definite nga kuan wala siya definite nga measurement ning side C at ra ni siyang gi-assume so para di ta makuan para yung maglibog at ra gi-assume since C is unknown man so mo ni siya line nga follow hon sa side C okay if we're going to extend this one si side A nga mo intersect siya sa side C of course automatic si A kay gamay gid siya aning B so mo ni siya si A gamay gid siya kaysa ni B kay Kung kita naman sa figure, taas gid si B. Even if you are going to measure it and graph it or draw it on a CAD, online nga drawing, still, kaninga siya nga figure, nagpasabot nga si A less than gya po ni B. So therefore, nabatay triangle nga magenerate, of course. Kanin siya? Ako na i-enclose. So, wala tayo magenerate nga triangle. Therefore, na siya ay one nga triangle nga magenerate. Ang triangle na exist. Now, 
if a is less than b na ba yung po yung generate nga kanang koan na triangle sorry greater than siya a is greater than b a is greater than b na ba yung generate so ikaduha nga figure again so what na to si b and then ato ikuan nga muna siya ang line nga i-follow ni c our alpha is an acute angle this is our b since yung mata nga dako kay si a ni b so pwede ito ari okay so in this figure dako na kay si a so therefore naatay triangle gihapon nga magenerate of course kaning mga angle na diri o kaning angle mga unknowns mo ni so therefore we can vary this because this one are unknowns tungod kay ang kanisya nga condition is side side angle nga condition so this is a type of triangle nga ang given ra kay usa ka side another side and then an angle okay so for the second condition day for acute angle naatay duha ka triangle nga magenerate so two triangles all in all so therefore kung naay ing ani nga mga koan if na ing ani nga mga cases then maybe duha ka possible solutions ang ato ang makuha okay so don't forget this condition sa if an angle alpha is an obtuse angle so kung si a kay mas gamay ni b walay triangle nga magenerate but however kung si a mas dako ni b na triangle nga magenerate for the second condition kung si angle alpha is an acute angle then na duha ka possible a uh, triangle nga magenerate kung si a kay mas mas koan mas kanang uh, greater than ni koan greater than ni uh, b or less than ni kanang b nagya pun tay ma nga kanang magenerate ni ana okay ingat nak siya even if koan dai even if koan class even if kanang kan siya even if less than ani so kan siya even if si a is less than ni b nagya pun tay magenerate ha so here nagya pun ni siya magenerate not only one triangle dai class kan siya okay Kaya nga naman. Now, if we're going to illustrate this, say nga naman siya, natay B dira. Okay? Natay B dira. Since this is an acute angle, ha? B dira. Now, if A is less than B, so, pwede rin ko mag-drawing dag anak. This is A. Now, kung ako na i-project si C, taas nang kayo si C. But still, the angle alpha is, sa man, acute. So, therefore, kung gamay kaya po si A mas less than ni B, now, duha na ka-triangle ang generate. Kani siya o kani. So, therefore, kani siya tulo, uh, duha na siya ka-triangle for this case. Now, for for kanang second condition, kani if A is greater than B, kani, I think, usara ka-triangle. So, sa second condition is 3 triangles na siya. Sa so, second nga condition for or situation for condition 2 kaning if A is greater than B na good now think o sara wala na yung possibility nga dahan siya because kung yung siya i-swivel pa doon sa side B kung magana taan eh okay kani siya oh okay I think there's a possibility I think there's a possibility or let's sign lang so it's just B as siya isa i is swivel pa daw nga to ubo so therefore mga na siya ma-resolve siya nga ni okay mana siya ah wala di ay because ang generate na ani is obtuse na ni siya okay obtuse na ni siya di na siya acute so therefore osara ani for the second nga statement kani if A is greater than B now for the first statement nga A less than B duhagid ah duhagid ang kanang possible nga answer Mar siyang gitawag na siyang ambiguous case because duha ang possible answer ni ini. Okay, mar siya to ka triangle so for the second condition if A is an acute angle, now mo ni siya kung si A kay less than ni B, duha ka buok triangles ang ato ang makuha or duha ka pas uh, duha ka solutions. However, kung si A mas greater than ni B, kung acute ang atong alpha, then usa ra pud triangle ang magenerate. The same with the first condition, sarakang 
sa ka triangle okay so since na discuss na, na ako ang nature sa atong ambiguous case then uh, we are now going to solve for the kuan for our first example okay for our first example so, so erase so again ang ambiguous case this is for a type of triangle following SSA na siya given nga side uh, na siya given nga two sides ng angle so side side angle so here it states that in a triangle the measures of side lengths A and B are 23 meters and 11 meters respectively if angle alpha measures 122 degrees solve for the side C and the angle beta and gamma in the triangle so again mas better good nga ato i draw so figure and data so given si side A and side B now pwede pud uh, ato i sundog sa previous since si side B kay mas diba ato say gana say is what condition here since uh, a is greater than right a is greater than b because of course that is 23 meters is greater than 11 meters and then alpha po nato is alpha is saman alpha is 122 degrees so since 122 milapas niya sa 90 degrees this is an obtuse angle. So, mo follow ta sa condition number 1. Ang condition number 1, maging an forma. This is our alpha. And then, ang sa tayo kanang kuan, ang sa tayo sa first condition. Now, if ang side ang side A kay mas mas dako ni side B na atay triangle nga generate So, okay ni kay si A is 23, B is 11. Kay auto na project mo yan ni siya. So, mas dako si A. So, therefore, naatay solution ni ani. Kay kung ang given kay mas gamay si A kaysa ni B, then wala tay solution. So, for A, this is 23. Okay, this is 23 meters. Then, for B, this is 11 meters. Alpha is 122 degrees. Then we're going to solve for the remaining side. This is side C. This is gamma. And then this is beta. Okay. Uh, in this time class, or can I sh at this moment pala, we cannot use the, kwan ha, we can use the principle for a triangle nga. Makasolve ta sa osaka angle because uh, to, to announce mo angle, then we only have one equation nga. Alpha plus beta plus gamma is equals 180. So, di That's why gamit din ta sa law of sines. So, uh, required here. So, my requirements ni ini. In this, uh, in this problem, we're going to solve for the uh, side C, the angle gamma, and the angle beta. So, solution. Solution. So, again, ambiguous case mo siya. Now, ato isolve ang side C. So, solve uh, for side, can we solve for side C? I think, dili nga naman kay wala mo na angle ng gamma. So, dito pwede yan yan eh. So, ato sa unahon si angle beta. So, solve solve for angle beta. So, nga akong giuna si angle beta? Because, ang iyahang side nga B kay given na. So, kung nana siya given, then I can also use A kay for A, all are given. So, that is A over uh, sine alpha is equals to B all over sine of kanangkuan beta. So, here, makakuha ta sa beta because given man si A, si, si, uh, si alpha and si B. So, that is uh, sine beta is equals to cross multiply that is B sine alpha then divide both sides by A that is uh, sine beta is equals to uh, B over A 
sine alpha. Now we're going to take the inverse. So inverse of the uh, trigonometric function. Actually, in uh, lesson 3, so ato na siya madiscuss. Kaning inverse sa trigonometric function. So that is, kanang beta is equal to the arc sine. So pwede po na siya ma-plug in sa, sa inyong calculator. Na siya arc sine of b over a then sine of alpha. Now, substituting the values, that is arc sine. Ang atong b is 11. So, this is 11 meters all over a is 23. Multiplied by sine alpha is 122 degrees. So, our angle beta is approximately that is arc sine of b is 11 over 23 multiplied by sine of 122 degrees. Okay, so that is 23.93 degrees. So approximately 23.93 degrees. So man siya answer sa atong beta. Since we now have two angles, then we can easily kanang get the third angle by using the principle of the triangle nga ang sum sa all sides or I mean the sum of all angles in triangle is 180. So, solve for gamma. So, that is alpha plus beta plus gamma is equal to 180 degrees. So, this is for triangle. So, therefore, gamma is equal to 180 degrees minus, atun siya i-transpose, ma negative. So, that is minus beta minus alpha. So, that is 180 degrees minus beta is approximately 20. 3.93 degrees minus alpha is 122 degrees actually ang ato po nakuha nga kanang beta may conform po dyan sa ato figure diba sa figure kaya kanil siya acute angle ni siyang beta so simplify so 180 minus 23.93 minus 122 our gamma is 34.07 approximately that is approximately 34.07 degrees since na naman tay, uh, gamma, then we can solve for the last um, kuan, for the last requirement which is side C. So, solve for C. That is C all over uh, sine of gamma is equals to, I can use A or B, it's up to you. So, A sine alpha. That is C is equals to a multiplied by sine gamma all over sine alpha. So, ako na siyang cross multiply. So, A here is um, 23 meters. That is 23 meters. So, I call into ang units. Sa atong pag-solve diri, makancel mo itong mga units. Mga unitless ng atong mga kaan. Angles dira. So, that is uh, sine gamma is approximately 34.07 degrees all over the sine of alpha that is 1 2 2 degrees simplifying the side c is approximately so that is uh, sine 34.07 all over sine 122 so our side c is approximately 15.19 approximately 15.19 meters Muna siya. Ito na nakuha ang tulo ka mga requirements. The angle beta, angle gamma, and the side C. So, yan sa class. Again, this is an example of an ambiguous case. Now, kung si B mas dako ni A, then ang atong solution is wala. So, ang uh, uh, we cannot generate a triangle. But since ato ang problem kay si A mas dako man ni B, then nagitay solution. Let's proceed to the next example, still an ambiguous case. So, yung three. For an ambiguous case, follow ta sa uh, side, side angle nga condition. So, in a triangle daw, the measures of side lengths A and B. So, so at the uh, figure and data daan. The measures of sides A and B are 9.1 feet and 9.3 feet respectively. So that is 
A less than B because 9.1 feet is um, less than Denisha, sorry. A less than B, so 9.1 feet is less than 9.3 feet. If the angle alpha measures 72 degrees, that is alpha is equals to 72 degrees, so this is an acute angle. So this is from the second condition. Solve for side C and the angle beta and gamma in the triangle. So since naman is ikaduha condition sa akong discuss from the previous slide, a possible drawing is this one. Okay, pakit man siya. This is alpha. Okay? Since si A kay less than daw ni B, ah, sa man siya mabilong? Actually, sa so first na siya nga statement. First mga statement or second? Actually, first. So, therefore, if that is from the first statement, we have two possible triangles. So, natay doha ka triangles. Ang saman ang first, kumbaga. Or on some mga possible triangles na itong generate. Actually, pwede siya yung unani. Kani siya. This is our B. So, mas dako si B ha. And then, ito yan na. Nara tong A. So, A is less than B. So, this is A. Which is equal to um, 9.1 feet. B here is 9.3 feet. So this is our C and of course this is our alpha equal to 72 degrees. This is our gamma, this is our beta. Ikaduha na tong triangle is kanisya. Ana and then Okay, sorry. Tibalik. The nearest. Ikaduha is kanisya. This is our B then C, then monetong A. This our A, this is 9.1 feet. Our B equal to 9.3 feet. Our alpha again, this is 72 degrees. Our side C and our angle gamma and this one is our angle beta. Okay, so duha ka triangles. Ito makuha niya ni nga problem. So requirements. So, we are required to solve for side C, solve for beta, and solve for gamma. So, solution. So, let's solve. Here, mas dali kung mag-solve ta sa kwan. Mag-solve sa ta sa beta. Okay? Mag-solve ta sa beta. So, here, we're going to solve for beta. So, uh, solve for beta. So that is ang given kay A over sine alpha man. So that is A all over sine alpha is equals to B all over sine beta. That is, if we're going to cross multiply, that is A sine beta is equals to B sine alpha. Then divide both sides by A, we have sine beta is equals to a B over A sine alpha. Then, take the inverse. So, we have now beta is equal to arc sine of uh, B over A, then sine alpha. So, here, beta is equal to, cut substitute, that is uh, arc sine of ang kaning B is 9.3 all over 9.1 multiplied by sine Alpha is 72 degrees. So, sine 72 degrees. Now, ato kita ka ng uh, value sa arc sine. Karang sud sa karang brace of uh, bracket 9.3 divided by 9.1 multiplied by sine 72. The answer is 0 0.97195. That is 0. Uh, 0.971 9, 5 8, 8 5, 7, 3 Okay, pakain mo na siya ikan sa calculator atong beta 1 diba, kaya doon ka triangle, therefore doon ka beta, diba? So, notice 
sa diri si Vita kay acute diri mi obvious. So, kaya mo na siya i-solve. Arc sign na So, arc sign of the answer. That is 76.40. Okay, approximately 76.40 degrees. So, this is the acute na triangle or acute beta. Since do kami ka book, so let's solve for kanang kwan beta to. Kung ato mo siya, i-draw sa Cartesian coordinate system. So, ito nakuha kaya ang acute 1. So, that is kaya siya, diri. Nasa quadrant 1. Muna siya ang beta 1. Actually, di ba, sign mo ni ito gigamit? Di ba, this is sign. So, remember sa ito yung kwan ganiha nga, ang sign gali is the y. Then, kung ito siya i-mirror on the uh, left side, di ba? Kana siya. Actually, ang sign po ni ini is the same mo na kayo, the same naman pala sa y. Now, at standard position, pwede po tayo makakuha o ganing angle. This is beta 2. So, kung mo na siya, ikuha on ang sign sa beta 1 and kanang kon beta 2, then they are the same. So, that is sine beta 1 is just equal to sine beta 2. So, therefore, para makakuha ta sa kanang kuan, Para makakuha ta sa usa ka angle. Okay? Para makakuha ta sa angle nga usa, so therefore, makaibaw man ta nga kanigay nga angle diri is beta 1. So therefore, automatic kan siya kay beta 1 pud siya. So, unsa pa gawas sa beta 2? That is 180, di ba? 180 minus 3. 180 minus beta 1 is equal to beta 2. So, uh, unsa gani nga na beta 1 diri because gi mirror ba na to. Gi mirror na to sa so, diri. So therefore, kaning opening area is just equal sa opening diri ah. So therefore, to solve for beta 2 which starts from here, the initial side up here, that is just 180 minus beta 1. So beta 2 is equals to 180 degrees minus beta 1. So that is 180 degrees minus 76.40 degrees. That is equal to approximately equal to uh, 76.40 that is 103.6 that is 103.6 degrees so this is for the obtuse so sakto yun ang ato ang nakuan okay sakto ang ato ang na assumption nga doha ang possible nga kanang kuan okay okay ha kung gusto yun mga nga maprove so Kung ito na ibalik o plug in ang sine 103.6 Actually, ang mo result kay 0.9719588 bla 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 So, parang ragyan po natin nakuha na ito dali Same ragyan po So, therefore, duha gyan na itong kanang possible value for beta Kaya duha man na ito ang triangle anima generate Now, since naman tayo answer sa beta for acute That is 76.40 For obtuse that is 103.6 The next one is for the one for uh, kanang gamma so solve for gamma since doha man ta ka beta so doha po ang answer sa gamma okay doha man ka triangle so for gamma 1 that is alpha plus beta 1 plus gamma 1 is equal to 180 degrees that is gamma 1 is equal to 180 degrees minus alpha minus beta 1. So, that is 180 degrees. Minus alpha is 72 degrees. Minus beta 1 is 76.40. That is 76.4 degrees. So, gamma 1 is 180 minus 72 minus 764 uh, 76.4 That is 31.6. So, ang atong gamma 1 is 31.6 degrees, approximately. This is our gamma 1. Now, for gamma 2, there is alpha plus beta 2 na po datong gamit. Plus, gamma 2 is equals to 180 degrees. So, gamma 2 is equals to 180 degrees minus alpha minus beta 2. So, that is 180 degrees minus alpha 2 is 72 degrees. Minus B, uh, si beta to is um, 103.6. Diba na, Adri? 
that is um three ah uh, that is hundred three point six so our uh, gamma to is um hundred three point six that is four point four so our gamma to is uh, four point four degrees so very small kayo of course makita mo na sa figure kan siya dire gamay kan dire na part now since manatas ni 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 gamma ang dua ka case then solve for c so solve for side c now since dominant triangle so dapat po ang value sa ato ang c now for c1 uh, use the relationship so katong c1 all over sine gamma 1 pwede mong gamitin which is equal to uh, pwede ka magamit ni a kay si a man nag change with this ang yapong angle alpha so pwede na kayo ka pwede kayo ka or pwede po ka ni beta okay that is c1 is equals to a all over sine alpha which is equal yapon niya sa sa b since si B po nagbago all over sign but here at ibutang nga, nga beta is beta 1 kay C1 muna siya so gamit ang taning A so that is C1 is equals to A multiplied by sine gamma 1 all over sine ni alpha then substitute the values uh, for A that is 9.1 feet so 9.1 feet multiplied by uh, sine gamma 1 is 31.6 that is 31.6 degrees all over sine ni alpha that is 72 degrees okay so simplifying our uh, first value for our side c is uh, sine 31, uh, 31.6 all over sine 72 the answer is 5.01 so approximately 5.01 feet okay in feet Malaysia now for kanang C sub 2 so for C sub 2 thank you boss C sub 2 that is um, C sub 2 all over sine gamma 2 is equals to Pwede put A ragi hapon. A over sine alpha since wala man nag-change ang value sa A o gang alpha. And for B, pwede put B all over sine. Since this is, this is C sub 2 and gamma 2, gamit po na to for B is beta 2. So si A na lang ko para di ta maglibog. So C sub 2 is equal to A. Then sine gamma 2 all over uh, sine alpha. Then plug in the values that is for A. 9.1 feet multiplied by sine uh, gamma 2 is to, that is 4.4 that is sine 4.4 degrees all over sine alpha that is sine 72 degrees so simplifying C sub 2 is equal to 9.1 times the sine 9.1 times the uh, sine of 4.4 .4 all over sine of 72 that is equal to 0 0.73 C sub 2 is um, 0 0.73 feet okay so feet so therefore nakuha na to so dua ka buok kanang kanang triangle ang atong ma gen generate ani so manang be careful yun dapat ko anagit ang nature and types of triangle nga naasa problem so for the last example okay for the last example so we have here uh, ambiguous case gihapon so uh, we have side side angle nga condition side side angle nga condition so we have here in a triangle the measures of side lengths a and b are 6 miles and 8 miles so figure and data so figure and data we have A 
is less than b why because 6 miles is of course less than 8 miles and then our alpha is equal to 107 degrees so, this is an obvious angle okay for an obvious angle that is under condition 1 so for condition 1 ang atong possible nga drawing an is kanisa Okay, this is alpha and of course this is B. So since si B kay mas dako man from our condition si A kay gamay so analyze si A. This is A. So therefore wala siya kaabot sa ato ang expected nga lines sa atong side C. So therefore wala angle nga may exist. So no triangle no triangle exist. But naka-statement rin ang requirements that is verify kung nabay triangle nga may exist. So, para ma-verify na to, so, ato is solve. So, verify. Verify your claim. Okay, so, solution. Solution. So, in order to solve for this, uh, pwede na to and since ang given man kay si side A and alpha and then B now pwede po na to isolve si angle beta so we have here uh, B all over uh, sine beta is equals to A all over sine alpha so cross multiply we have A sine beta is equals to B sine alpha then take or divide both sides by A, we have sine beta is equals to B over A sine alpha. Then take the inverse, so we have beta is equals to the arc sine of B over A sine alpha. Okay, so arc sine of B is uh, 8 miles, so that is 8 all over A is 6. Then sine of 107 degrees. Actually, ang answer ni Ana is, ang sod sa bracket is 8 of the 6 multiplied by sine of 107. That is 1.2751. That is arc sine of, of 1.272751. Di ba, remember class? Di remember? Kung natin siya ibalik ha, that is sine beta is equals to 1.252751 uh, di ba remember nga remember nga di ba the sine of an angle is, let's say theta is uh, opposite that is opposite over hypotenuse di ba hypotenuse should always be greater than opposite so therefore ang answer ani the answer should be greater than uh, I mean less than the itong case case hey, ang denominator kay mas dakuman sa numerator that is the answer for sign should always be less than 1 but atong nakuha diri is greater than 1 man therefore therefore uh, the triangle does not exist tungod ani okay since beta or the sine beta since ang sine beta sine beta should be less than 1 okay so wala wala yung may exist na triangle ni ini so nga na pag verify mathematically okay so let's proceed to the law of cosines Unsan po ning law of cosines? So, okay class, um let's continue. So, ang law of cosines is kanang uh, na formulate ni siya because um na found out nga na limitation ang ato ang law of sines. Okay? Na limitation ato ang law of sines. Diba? If we're going to uh, recap sa law of sines 
So for the law of sines, it can solve uh, if we have a condition of a triangle. So it can only solve other uh, parameters in our oblique triangles if ang given kay naakay ka ng kuan, doha ka side, and a given angle, right? This is for ambiguous case. Now, ay kaduha, makasolve po ta if um, naatay ka ng kuan, naatay doha ka angle, so that is angle, angle side, right? Because kan siyang SSA in an oblique triangle, Ma, ah, yan yun siya so naatay ka ng side nga B and A and then alpha we can solve by using law of sines and for angle angle side yun yan yun figure that is we have angle alpha we have angle ka ng beta nya natay side nga A ok dapat ang kanipong side kay ni correspond siya sa one of its angle or you can have this makasolve ni siya this is alpha and this is kanang beta because we have angle beta, angle alpha and then side b for the third one pwede po ta makasolve o kanang kuan um, kanang side uh, side angle side or uh, I mean angle angle side angle di ay Okay, angle side angle or kan uh, side side angle side side angle side or angle side angle dili hapon ah pwede pwede angle side angle ah dili lah so maroon din siya sa law of cosines sa law of cosines we have kanang Uh, side 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 angle then angle angle side okay angle angle side so man siya natay angle natay kanang kuan naputay sa angle naputay side okay pwede ani ang law of kanang sine however if natay sa tay sa tay ha how about if kanang given lang ta og side, then naputay angle, and then side. So, ang may figure ay nini. So, here we have side. This is side B. Then, we have an angle here. This is gamma, and then side A. Okay. Here, unknown ang ato ang kuan. unknown diri ang alpha, unknown po diri ang beta. ba? Diba? And then, unknown po ang C. Money given. Side, angle, side. So, ang angle din ang kita ko is included angle. Because nakatunga siya sa doha ka sides ng dimension B and A. Ngano din siya ma-solve using the law of sines? Why? Nga naman, because kung atong isolve ang bisag ang alpha man lang, that is A all over sine alpha is equals to yung mukata in times of B, that is B all over sine beta alpha is given this one is unknown c b is given however c beta is unknown so therefore di ka puta makuha even for c that is c over sin gamma c is unknown t gamma is given di ka puta makuha sa a or alpha or any other parameter so therefore di ni siya ma solve using law of sides ang ikaupat, how about if we're given uh, angle side angle okay angle angle side angle, so sa may cases sa angle side angle, so nga na siya uh, for angle side angle so this is angle this is gamma, then side this is alpha, or uh, a this, this one is kwan beta, this is uh, gamma, and then this is b, and then this is c this is alpha di, sorry, this is alpha for angle side angle di um, pwede di ta 
So, pwede ito makakuha. Let's say, kanil, this is angle, then this is side, then this is angle. Actually, you, we can use the law of sines, right? So, ato na siya ibutang, ari. So, the law of sines, dahi, can still be applied if ang condition sa itong triangle is angle, side, angle. So, ako na draw it, ha? Let's say, this one is alpha. I mean, gamma, this is beta. This is side A side B, and then this one is alpha, this one is side C. Diba given na to is the angle gamma, side alpha, uh, side A, and then angle beta. Ingo man tanga, makuha ni by using law of sine. So, let's uh, kuhan, let's kanang verify. So, since from the triangle nga, ang sum sa all angles is 180, so that is uh, alpha plus kanang beta nga given plus gamma nga given is equal to 180 degrees. So, since unknown man si alpha, makakuha rin alpha kay given man ang ka beta. So, therefore, given na po ang si alpha kung natay A as A nga condition. Now, to solve for the rest, uh, pwede natin maka-equate because if you use A all over sine alpha is equal to B all over sine beta. Diba? Given man si beta. This is given. Alpha is given because of this condition and then a is also given and then we can now solve for b the same thing with c that is c all over sine gamma since si gamma kay given c is unknown then we can solve this by using this one first so therefore ang angle side angle nga condition can be solved okay can be solved by uh kanang kwan by using the law of sine however for side, angle, side, delete pwede sa law of sines. Mao na ang natay law of cosines. And what else? Ano may lain nga type sa triangle? Update triangles nga itong masugatan. How about kung makasugat mo ang the fifth one? Okay. So, balik ta. At na erase So, how about if we have side, 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 meaning all sides are given. Okay, all sides are given. That is uh, side A, side B, and side C. Now, for uh, beta, gamma, and alpha, they are unknown. Now, at a very pi, kung masolve ba bagi hapon yun ni law of sine. So, law of sine states that A all over sine alpha is equals to B all over sine beta is equals to C all over sine gamma. Now, si A kay given, si sin alpha kay unknown, si B given, si sin beta is unknown. So, kung kanya itong duhara gamiton, di kakakuha for alpha and beta. Even kanya nga combination, di kakakuha why? Because si gamma kay unknown, although si C kay given. So, delete siya mo work ng kanya condition if we have uh, three sides given triangle. So, kanya ding duhara condition, kanyang side, angle, side, and our side, 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 all sides are given, kanis siya, makuha niya by using the law of cosines. So, unsa maning law of cosines? Unsa yung formula ni ini? Okay, for the law of cosines, still, this is for oblique triangle, yapon. So, if we have a given oblique triangle, so, maning siya oblique triangle na to, ha? This is alpha, so opposite niya is ang side A. If this is kanang kan beta, opposite niya is side B. If this is gamma, opposite niya is side C. Now the law of cosines has kanang kan has three formulas. So the first one is in terms of A. So that is the square of A is equal to the square of the kan of the two sides. Okay, that is uh, B squared plus C squared minus twice the, the product of B and C. So, 2BC, then cosine of the angle that corresponds to side A, that is alpha, cos alpha. And let's see class. Now, diba? Kani siya, magamit ni siya for S, A, S condition Y because na kay side nga B o C then an included angle which is A so 
au alpha so makuha na to si a di ba by using this formula kaduha actually how about kung si b na pud may wala so that is b squared is equals to the kuha na pud the sum of the squares of the two remaining sides that is a squared plus c squared and then minus 2 times the product na pud of the remaining 2 ac then cosine of angle 3 is the angle that is opposite to the side B that is beta again is E S G upon the CLA then for kuan for kanang last na formula that is for C C squared is equals to uh, B squared plus A squared minus 2AB cosine of gamma so, SAS, bigyan po na siya. But, kanis siya lang tulo, pwede po niya magamit sa SSS or if all sides are given Y. Because, sa uh, ato formula, di ba, given man ang tulo. So, kung natay, tulo nga given, so, ano na po ng angle? So, makakuha na po sa angle. Makakuha na po sa other angle. Then, makakuha na po sa other angle na po. Then, you can still use this principle for triangle that is alpha plus beta plus gamma equals 180 degrees. Okay? Again, for law of cosines, apply ganun siya if you're given a condition of side, angle side, and all sides are given. Okay. Let's proceed to the examples. So, example number one. In a triangle, the measures of side lengths A and C are 13 meters and 6 meters. So, figure and data. During the side A daw, si side A, so let's say this is A, A is 13 meters, side C kay 6, so gamay siya, is 6 meters, and then, if the angle beta measures 20 degrees, so, di ba, ang kanang angle is included angle lang siya between uh, the A and C, so ato lang siya i-mobodeg kay 20 degrees, so yan lang siya this one is uh, C equals 6 meters. So, mas taas taas na si A. So, muna siya ang B. A da. Kay muna siya ang B. So, understood nga beta ni siya. So, that is beta equals 20 degrees. Kani siya is angle alpha and then this one is angle gamma. Okay, sana na ta. So, this is a side angle side nga condition sa triangle. Then, solve the measures of side B, gamma, and alpha. So, requirements. We're going to solve for side B, gamma, and alpha. So, solution. Let's solve first for one, side B. Solve for B. But, but pwede po good ang, ang alpha or kan good but I think ang pinaka kan yun yung pinaka doon nga makuha is side B for side B use cosine law so that is for B you have B squared is equals to A squared so from the second formula siya A squared plus C squared minus 2AC then cosine of beta so since given man si A, si C o si beta then wala problema that is B is equal to the square root of a is 13, so that is 13 squared plus uh, C is 6 squared minus 2 times 13 times 6 multiplied by the cosine of 20 degrees. So just take the positive the principal rule. That is square root of 13 squared plus 6 squared minus 2 times 13 times 6 then cosine of 20. That is 7.64. So approximately, approximately 7.64 uh, meters. Okay. That is for the side B. Now here class, for the law of cosine class, actually pwede nasad ka maka proceed for law of sines. Still the same but Kung gusto ka nga ay mohang solutions kay all cosa, uh, all law of cosines, pwede na po. Because, since nag-given na ang usaka 
side, makakuanta sa alpha by using law of sines. Pero sa ako, sige, law of cosines lang puta para consistent sa. So, solve for gamma. For gamma, na siya de dapita. So, since na naman tay value sa B and A, then, makasolve din tayo ni gamma tukod kay na si C. Diba? This is side, angle gamma, and then side. That is SAS. So, makasolve na ta ni gamma. So, that is C squared is equals to A squared plus B squared minus 2AB cosine of gamma. So, since si gamma man may unknown, i-transpose na yung atang uban. So, that is uh, may mo siyang C squared minus A squared minus B squared is equal to negative 2AB cosine gamma. So, divide both sides by negative 2AB negative 2AB ang resulta may mo siya cosine gamma is equal to actually matangtan yung mga negative that is A squared plus B squared minus C squared all over 2AB then taking the uh, R cosine inverse of the, co of the cosine that is A squared plus B squared minus C squared all over 2AB Substituting, uh, substitute, uh, substituting the values that is R cosine. Ang A na to is 13. So that is uh, 13 squared plus B is kaniyato na solve uh, 7.64 plus 7.64 squared minus C. Our C given 6 meters. So minus 6 squared all over 2 times 13 times 7.64 so the answer is for gamma this R cosine of 13 squared plus 7.64 squared minus uh, 36 all over 2 times 13 times 7.64 so the answer is approximately 15.55 gamma is 15.55 degrees. Since na naman tayo gamma, na naman tayo alpha and beta, therefore, makasolve na tayo for, uh, I mean, since na naman tayo kanang kuan, beta, makasolve na tayo ni alpha. So, solve for alpha. Mamon ni ang last nga unknown. That is alpha plus beta plus gamma is equals to 180. That is alpha equals to 180 degrees minus beta minus gamma that is 180 degrees minus beta is 20 from the given minus gamma ato lang nakuha that is 15.55 so an approximate value therefore our alpha is 180 minus 20 minus 15.55 the answer is 144.45 that is 144.45 45 degrees. So, the alpha is an obtuse angle. Actually, ang kung yun ang uh, pag uh, illustrate sa koan, pag illustrate aning sa ato ang koan triangle is ingani ni siya. Ingani. So, si si gamma is gamma ikayo. So, nakanan ni siya. So, this one is A equals 13 meters, C is equals to 6 meters, C B is equals to 7.64 meters. So, this is our alpha, this is our gamma, and this is our beta. So, man siya ang illustration. Based sa itong nakuha ng mga values. Okay. So, once you already solve for kanang side, kanang kwan, side B, actually, pwede ka makagamit ang law of signs. Then, ayaw mo makuha ang mga result. Same lang gapon kung nagamit ka o law of cosines. Maram mo na yung gateway para lang makagamit ka o law of signs. Dapat makuha rin mo sa kaside. Kaya magnal man siya. Di mo tayo makuha if ang given lang ka o ng side angle side kung magamit ka o law of signs. Mo nang gamit niya ang law of cosines. Let's proceed to the second example. So here in a triangle, the measures of side lengths A, B, and C are 8 feet 
6 feet and 7 feet respectively. Solve the measures of alpha, beta, and gamma. So this condition is side, 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 meaning all sides are given. So again, dilin siya ba? Dilin siya makuan? Dilin siya mada by law of signs. Mo nang law of cos na gamiton. So ato i-draw. So, ano siya? Ana, ana. A is the smallest or C, B. So, B ang smallest. So, this is B. B is 6 feet. C, C ang pinaka longest. So, C is equals to 7 feet. A is, uh, ay, si A ang pinaka longest. So, dili na siya si A. So, A is equals to 8 feet. C is equal to 7 feet. So, this one is our beta. C is gamma here and there is si alpha. Okay, and say ato ang pangitaan dili. So, requirements, we're going to solve for alpha, beta, and gamma. Okay? So, solution. Now, since all sides are given, actually, pwede ta makakuha ng SAS dili. That is a, a side, I mean, S A S D side. So, side B, angle alpha, and side C. Since naman tayo A, then, makakuha tani alpha. Diba? By law of cosines. So, solve for alpha. Okay, solve for alpha. So, that is A squared. So, given na siya, tungod ano niya? S A S. Yeah, a. It's a, a squared is equals to b squared plus c squared minus 2bc cosine alpha. Muna itong ipita si alpha. So therefore, given mo na yung tulo, we can solve for cosine alpha. That is cosine alpha is equals to uh, b squared plus c squared minus a squared. Meaning ako na i-transpose nga dito. Ako pong transpose si a nga to. Then, divide by 2bc. Taking the inverse, that is alpha is r cosine of this statement or expression, that is b squared plus c squared minus a squared all over 2bc. Then, uh, one, plug in the values for b, that is 6 feet. That is 6 squared plus c is 7, so 7 squared minus a is uh, 8, that is 8 squared all over. 2 times 6 times 7. So, ang atong angle alpha is our cosine uh, 36 plus 49 minus 64 all over 2 times 42. So, our alpha is approximately 75.52. So, approximately 75.42 degrees. Mona siya atong angle alpha. How about for angle beta? So, solve for uh, for beta. So, kung, kung beta ta, we can use the side C, the side A, and the side B. Para mo kasi beta. Okay, that is B squared is equals to A squared plus C squared minus 2AC cosine beta. So, kung ano ni cosine beta? Transpose B squared on the other side, transpose this one on the other side, then divide by 2AC. The result is cosine beta is equals to A squared plus C squared minus B squared all over 2AC. Take the uh, R cosine, inverse cosine, that is beta is R cosine of A squared plus C squared minus B squared all over 2AC. Then substitute the values. So, so we have our cosine A is 8 that is 8 squared plus C is 7 7 squared minus B is 6 squared all over 2 times 8 times 7 therefore our beta is approximately so that is um, uh, for, uh, 8 times 7 is 56 then we have here 64 ma, uh, plus 49 minus 
36. So the answer is 46.57. So approximately 46.57 degrees. So mara siya ito ang angle beta. Now to solve for the last angle, angle gamma, then you use the principle for triangle. That is the sum of the angles of a triangle is 180. So solve for gamma. Alpha plus beta plus gamma is equals to 180 degrees. Transpose alpha and beta on the other side, it will be equal to 180 minus alpha minus beta. So that is uh, 180 degrees minus alpha is 75.42 degrees minus beta 46.57 degrees. So the answer is 180 minus 75.42 minus 46.57 the answer is 58.01 so approximately 58.01 degrees so this is the value of our gamma actually you can verify the value of gamma by using this still law of cosines gap on class that is uh, c squared is equals to a squared plus b squared minus 2ab cosine gamma so, at a shortcut, that is cosine gamma is equals to a squared plus b squared minus c squared all over 2ab. That is gamma is just the r cosine of this. Diba? All over 2ab. So, atan siya i-plug in ang values. So, in my calculator, that is r cosine of ang a na to is... 8, right? That is 64 plus ang B nato is 6. That is 64 plus 36 minus ang C is 7. That is 49. All over 2 times A and B. So that is 8 times 6 is 48. So the answer is uh, one. The answer is 57.91. So here we have 57.91. Actually, at numero round of 58.00 degrees. So, close ra siya. Gambara kayo different siya. Monang, you can use this and this. Actually, kung saan mo yung naka-differentiate sa ilang mga uh, kanang kwa decimal points, it's because na ground of ta diri. Kung yung muna siya ipang-retain ng mga values or mga expressions, then the same ay mong arrive ng answer. Okay? So, yung siya class, basically. So, let's proceed to the last topic which is solving for the area of a triangle. Okay, solving for the area of a triangle. So in solving for the area of a triangle, <coughs> dagay pa maagi class actually. Dagay pa maagi sa pag-solve sa area of a triangle. Okay? So mara siya atong problems nga ansiran for kanang kwan. Uh, for the areas of a triangle. So, duha to derive any for the area of a triangle. So, the first one, uh, we can solve the area of a triangle if uh, we have this uh, kanang condition. We have side, angle, side. So, side illustration, I mean, side, angle, side. Yan is here. Okay, so, um, so it this can be applied uh bisan pag kanang kwan bisan pag kanang oblique or right triangle okay all triangles siya all triangles okay so natay side nga a naputay side uh, naputay angle nga included nila so let's say this is gamma na lang because i uh I will write here B. So this is side, angle, side. So the, the remaining side is C. Okay? If we have a given, a triangle nga, given na ang side, then angle and side, uh, we can solve the area by using this formula. That is, the area of this triangle is just equal to one half the product of these two sides and the sine of the included angle. Nga naman class, nga nang ingani man ang iya formula. Now, to derive this, actually, um, if we can create a triangle, 
Ano Blake ni siya? So if this is A and okay, sorry. Um to erase. This is A. This is B. Diba? Ang formula sa triangle, if I'm going to project a line perpendicular to the base or perpendicular with this B, diba? Ang label on is H, the height. So, kan siya? Right triangle niya. Diba the formula? The general formula for a triangle is equal to 1 half base times height, right? But you can also solve for height if we have a given angle here, alpha, diba? I mean, gamma. Diba, this is a right triangle. And unsa man siya ang to solve for H, diba? This is the component of the sine of the gamma. Because in this right triangle, we can formulate that sine gamma is equal to the opposite of the angle, that is H. All over A, diba? Mga ni hypotenuse, kanin siya ang right triangle. So therefore, our H is just equal to A sine gamma. So, pata siya i-substitute sa itong formula. That is, 1 half B ang H kay A sin gamma. O, ata siya i-rearrange. That is, 1 half AB sin gamma. So, that's why naatay ka na ang formula. If, ang given sa itong problem is side included angle and the side. How about kung ang gigiven ra kay kuan? All sides. all sides that is s s s natay usa ka kapamaagi na butay ka daw nga pamaagi na kung given ra ang tulo ka sides actually pwede ka makakuha sa usa ka angle included angle para maka gamit na pagka aning 1 half ab sin theta diba if mo ni atong atong triangle if given ra ang a b and c actually pwede ka makakuha sa gamma diba so, ang atong mukhaan is A is equals to uh, 1 half AB sin gamma. And since, ang given naman kay B, A, and C, yung bahatan is, yung sa isob si gamma. How to solve for gamma? So, use the law of cosine. Law of cosine states that uh, C squared is equals to A squared plus B squared minus 2ab cosine of gamma. Therefore, gamma daydiri is just r cosine of a squared plus b squared minus c squared all over 2ab. So, muna siya. Now, if you already have a value for your gamma, then plug in na lang din yung plug in na lang sa general formula for the area of the triangle. Kani siya nga pamagin medyo taas ni siya. Actually, Kadang pamagi is we have what we call the Heron's formula or Heron's. Ang uban Hero or Heron's formula. So Heron's formula. So Heron's formula mo ni siya pinaka shortcut ni ini. If you are given a triangle, whether it is an oblique or a right triangle, ang formula for the area of the triangle is area equals the square root of s times s minus a times s minus b times s minus c now we have a we have b and we have c ang atarang unknown ani is ang s to solve for s by heron's formula that is s is equals to the sum of the sides a plus b plus c divided by 2 more ni siya class actually the derivation ani is comes from the law of sines and the law of cosines medyo taas taas siya ok so more ni siya gamiton if ang area, if ang given sa problem is side included angle on the side, use 1 half AB sin theta or sin gamma. If all sides, if ganang kaglong method, gamit ka na ini. By using the general, uh, gen, uh, by, by using the uh, formula 1 half AB sin gamma, and then gamma is taken from the law of cosines. Or you can have Heron's formula, squared of S times S minus A, S minus B, S minus C, where in S is the koan is the sum of the three sides divided by two at siya apply class apply na sa atong problem so for problem number one a triangle measures of sides lengths A and B are 7 meters and 9.3 meters 
So, figure and data. So, here, sides A kay 7 and B 9.3. So, mas dako si, si B. So, A then B. Or maybe D. So, here is A. A is 7 meters. Then, B is equal to 9.3 meters. Onya, ang another given is ang angle between this side. So, in that is the included angle between the onyang side kay ang gamma. So, gamma is equal to 20 degrees. So, this is side C. Okay. So, find the area of the triangle. So, this is a condition S A S. We have the side, the angle gamma, and the side. So, S A S condition as here. Required is we are going to solve for the area area of this triangle this oblique triangle to, to solve for the area so area is equals to one half in this con since this is SAS so one half AB sine gamma it's one half A is 7 meters multiplied by 9.3 3 meters multiplied by uh, the sine of gamma is sine 20 degrees so um, kanang simplify that is 1 half times 7 times 9.3 multiplied by sine 20 the answer is 11.13 so approximately 11 11.13 square meter. So, mara shift ka ng area sa ato ang oblique triangle. So, yun na siya class, basically. Then, for the last problem, in a triangle, the measures of side lengths A, B, and C are 12 feet, 11 feet, and 10 feet respectively. Solve the area of this triangle. So, figure and data. So, here na tayo triangle. Pinakataas nila is si side A. So, A is equals to 12 feet. B is 11. So, B is equals to 11 feet. C is equals to 10 feet. So, alpha here is the ray. Ang kanisya is gamma. Kanisya kay C. Kanang beta. So, this is SSS condition. Okay, so ato requirements ni ni is the area gihapon. So as what I have told you from the previous slide, we have kanang two solutions for this. Okay, so ato verify kung katong atong solution yung present, uh, katong formula ang uh, present ninyo, doha ka formula is sakto ba? The same ba sila? Ato, ato ni siya i-divide. So by using Heron's formula. Heron's formula. So for Heron's formula, that is the area of the triangle is equal to the square root of S times S minus A times S minus B times S minus C. So we don't have S, so at sa announce pag solve si S. S equals to A plus B plus C all over 2. A is at 12 plus 11 plus 10 divided by 2. That is 11, right? So, 12 plus 11 plus 10 divided by 2. I sorry, that is 16.5. Ako nung average noon. That is 16.5. 16.5. Therefore, the area is equal to the square root of 16.5 times 16.5 minus 12. 16.5 minus 11 then 16.5 minus 10 then sold that is 16.5 times 16.5 minus 12 then 16.5 minus 11 then 16.5 minus 10 the answer is 51.52 so approximately 51.52 
square uh, square feet how about the long method so long method uh, long method that is we're using a is equals to one half a b sine gamma but we don't have gamma okay okay bam tang ang gamma is just equal to the r cosine using cosine law that is um kani siya uh, a squared plus b squared minus c squared all over to a b okay so plug in the values that is a is 12 squared plus b 11 squared plus c 10 minus 10 squared over 2 times 12 times 11 so our koan gamma is our cosine 12 squared plus 11 squared minus 10 squared over 2 times 12 times 11. So the answer is 51.32. So approximately 51.32 degrees. Okay. And then, since naman tay gamma, then we can plug in this to our area. That is area is equals to 1 half. A is kanang 12, that is 12 feet, multiplied by the B is 11, then sine of 51.32 degrees. So simplify. It's 0.5 times 12 times 11 times the sine of 51.32. The answer is 51.52. So approximately 51.52 square feet. So therefore, both methods are the same. So, kanis siya, medyo long method na siya kung mag-derive pa ka sa, sa, sa cosine law, medyo taas na siya ikaduha nga method, kaning long method. Whereas kung uh, nakamemorize ka sa Heron's formula, you know the basics or the fundamental principle of Heron's formula, then uh, pwede ka magamit kay shortcut method ng Heron's formula. Okay? So, class, thank you for tuning in and God bless.